We disagree with the messaging of it, the drag queens being the messengers of that. That in itself adds a sexual component to the event. That is our position. A meeting of the minds in Chula Vista one day before a controversial event as a pastor meets with the city's mayor. Good evening and thank you for joining us this Monday. I'm Carla Chiquetta. And I'm Barbara Lee Edwards. Tomorrow's planned Drag Queen Storytime event is being moved to Chula Vista's Civic Center Library to accommodate the bigger crowd. But not everyone in the community is supporting the event. News 8's Angie Lee is live in Chula Vista with what we're learning tonight. Angie. And Carlo and Barbali, we are learning that the city of Chula Vista's mayor, along with the pastor, had a chance to meet face to face and have a heart to heart talk. We understand that that meeting was quite a lengthy one, one where the pastor was able to express why he wanted story time canceled. And the mayor was able to share what types of books would be read. In the end, it appears the story continues. We're not against LGBTQ people. Storytime has become a story of its own after a drag queen story time ignites controversy in the South Bay. Don't do it on government dollar. Don't do it on government property. Don't do it at the public library. Pastor Art Hodges has been vocal on the matter and for the first time had a chance to meet with the Chula Vista mayor. Well, I was disappointed in the outcome. We had a very long and respectful conversation. That conversation led to keeping the program as it is at the Chula Vista Public Library on Tuesday. The request was for me to cancel the story hour and I don't feel that there's a need to do that. And the story has now grown from story time to possible links to hate crime at Pastor Hodges Church. We've never experienced anything like this. On Sunday, the congregation at South Bay Pentecostal Church woke up to vandalism with messages of Satan and hell and this. A large area of our church graffitied with sexual vulgarities. While the church feels they were targeted for speaking up, the mayor had this to say. I've talked to our chief of police and the, the uh, captain that's investigating this, and there's no uh, direct link, we don't believe, between what's going on on the story hour. While neither sides could see eye to eye, their meeting did confirm two books will be read at Drag Queen Storytime. She said that neither of the books have any sexual component to it. Neither of the books have an LGBTQ um, agenda. The books are simply about being different, how that people are different. Despite how both sides feel about drag queens reading to kids, Mayor Sala says their intent is simple, to read to children. It's not anything, any conspiracy to try to change children. It's not any conspiracy to try to uh, propagandize a lifestyle. And so story time will continue here at the Chula Vista Public Library at four o'clock with two readings scheduled. She says it will be done in a closed environment. In fact, the mayor invited Pastor, Pastor Hodges to attend. He says he plans on attending a portion of the reading and then we'll be back out here joining other faith leaders in a prayer circle. Carlo. Thanks, Angie. OK, we would like you to weigh in. Would you let your child attend Drag Queen Story Hour? Let us know. Go to CBS8.com slash vote or you can use the News 8 app. It's really easy to do on that. We'll update the results a little later in our newscast.